So welcome to our UTM tracking tutorial and we are going to learn about campaign tracking with Cougar URL Builder. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step process on how to create a custom URL using Google URL Builder so you can track your various email campaigns, Facebook campaigns, you know, affiliate marketing campaigns and so on and so forth. So let's get started. So you will go to google.com and we're going to search for Google URL Builder. So the first thing that, comp that pops up is Campaign URL Builder. You click on that. And this is a free tool that Google gives you and it allows you to create your custom URL so you can track different campaigns and you can even track which buttons people are clicking on on your email. You know, if you, have, um, if you don't want to find an affiliate marketing company but you want to create your own URLs to track you know, to your own affiliate marketing people, you can actually create custom URLs for each of that affiliate marketing person and give them that URL and then you can track this and know which affiliate marketer is actually sending you links and by the end of the month you can you know, pay them their 10, 20%, whatever your deal is. Um, so the main thing where I use this thing is, so when I send emails, I'll show you one example here. So this is the email that I sent um, last week. It says four steps to get your dream job in fashion. So I had two type of links here. So one was the text-based link. So people clicked on this thing and they landed on my YouTube video. And the second one was this button. So I wanted to track are people clicking on this or are people going to click on this? So the way to do that was I wanted to create a different URL, one URL for this, one URL for this. So the way to do it is you will come back to campaign URL builder and you type in whatever, wherever you want to land people in. So let's say this is my main site. So rogueline.co and let's in this case, uh, we want to land people on, the, on our homepage. You know, and campaign source is what the campaign is. So as you can scroll down and this is where Google gives you a definition. So it says your campaign source is to identify a search engine, newsletter name or other source. So for our example, so let's say this email campaign was part of a newsletter that goes once a month. So my campaign source is newsletter. My campaign medium is how this campaign was delivered was email. So if, if, as you can see, if you're using Google ads, so you can see your campaign source will be Google ads. And if your campaign medium is, are you doing CPC, which is cost per click, or are you doing banner ads? You know, are you being display ads? So you can change here. So if you are running like a Facebook campaign, you can actually say your campaign source is Facebook and your campaign medium is either through Facebook ads or you're driving traffic to your Facebook fan page. So you can say a fan page here. Your campaign name, like this particular campaign, let's say if I'm doing promotion for you know, this, let's, let's do spring. So I'm doing promotion for spring 2018 and I go here. So one thing keep in mind, like Google is case sensitive. So this spring, 2018 is different than if I use uh, everything in uppercase. So whichever naming convention you do, so make sure you follow the same one. And if there's like an empty space, it will make sure that, that thing will be covered here. So as you can see, it uses a percentage 20, which like right here, uh, which is a code for blank space here. So campaign term, let's see how Google defines campaign term. So this is usually for page search. And term is your note for the keywords for this thing. So let's say for this one example, we're doing spring sales. We're doing it for, you know, shoes. And then campaign content. This is where we're landing these people. This is, you know, uh, discount page. So the main thing you want to notice is this you should name so it makes sense to you because the end user is not going to see this, especially if you are going to use a URL, URL shortener. So when all this information appears in your Google Analytics, you want to name it in such a way that you should be able to tell the difference between what this is versus if you are using Google, you know, ads, what that means. So name it in such a way that it actually makes sense to you because you are the one who, who is going to determine this. So as you can see, whatever I entered here, Google gave me this URL. So I usually don't like using this huge URL, so I will convert it into a short link. So clicking here, it will give me a shorter link. So I'll copy this URL. And as you can see for this one, for example, if I was creating this URL um, to drive traffic to check if this is people are clicking on this button versus this, in that case, I would have used, you know, the campaign content as button, but then I will just come to this particular page. Uh, let me get out of this preview page. So I will 
come here and then since this is a url people go to when they click on this button i would actually replace this and now it will be tracking this particular button um, but since i did the discount page you know this doesn't say button so typically for that it will say button here and then this is what i would have copied and then it'll be the button tracking you know so you can do whatever you want so biggest example especially if you're running like a fashion company and you don't want to pay you know two three hundred dollars or how much they charge to manage your affiliate and you only have like five or six affiliate people you can actually create your own url here to actually track those affiliate person so let's say your affiliate this is your campaign source of affiliate marketing and your main person you're tracking who's doing affiliate for you is let's say jessica blog right and she is driving affiliate traffic for your spring 28 collection um, mostly for shoes you can leave this blank if you want so this way you have this particular url then you can do the short you can shorten this url and you can share this url with jessica so every time jessica drives traffic to your site once he uses this url you'll be able to track that where these people are coming from and are they actually buying your product or not and then by the end of this month you can just track how many sales did jessica drive for you and then you can pay her 10 15 percent accordingly so this is a this is a quick way of doing affiliate marketing by yourself rather than paying you know two three hundred dollars to other affiliate marketing companies like commission junction or, or, or the other ones so how do you see this in analytics so when you come to your analytics page so this is your home page where you will land you will click on acquisition all traffic source and medium and this is where all of your data will be shown as you can see it says source slash medium and this is what we had we had source and medium so this will tell you this here for example the source was google the medium was organic you know source was google medium was cost per click and this is where all your information will be stored so if you can also add like secondary dimension if you want to see you know any of these um, um, options so you want to click on user you see what kind of browsers people were using and you can see it tells you like for google and organic medium the people that came from chrome browsers they were 4900 and the people that use safari who came from the same source and medium as you can see google and organic google and organic 1400 actually used safari so this is where you can actually play around with the information and you can track each and every one of those codes so hi this is vishal Kali from fashion marketing and this is an easy way of tracking you're creating your custom urls and tracking your affiliate marketing you know what people are taking actions on your email you know your facebook ads your google ads whatever you're running and just go and you know have fun with it and if you have any questions please leave them in the form of a comment and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please do subscribe to our channel so we can keep continue creating these videos for you and that benefit you in your business so thank you very much for your time and have a wonderful day